What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2010 movie, Grown Ups. So in this movie, after their high school basketball coach passes away, five friends and former teammates reunite for a 4th of July weekend. And not only do they uh, get to just have a lot of fun and everything, they also have a rematch with, with their rival high school team and everything. It, uh, but, so, I know a lot of people hate this movie and everything, but I am not one of those people. I'm one that thinks this is a really, really fun movie. I absolutely love it. This was like the Avengers for Adam Sandler and everything. When this movie came out, this felt like an event like the Avengers for me because it has Adam Sandler and all of his big friends that he's worked with throughout the years, Kevin James, Dave Spade, Chris Rock, Rob Schneider, all of them together, and it was so awesome and everything. And this is also the first time that David Spade and Adam Sandler have starred in a movie together. He, David Spade's had cameos in some of his movies before this and everything, but this was the first movie where they actually were the main stars together. But this movie works because of all of the actors. They all bring their sense of humor to it, but they all, their humors mash together so well. <clears throat> and it's just a really, really funny movie and everything. And I love, uh, I just love this movie. It, it's so fun. It's very simplistic story and everything, but that's kind of what I like about it. There's not too much to it. There's not a lot of meat on the bones. It's not plot heavy or anything like that. It's just a really fun time watching a bunch of friends hanging out and doing fun stuff that friends do during the summer. I don't know why I find it so fun, but I, I just really enjoy it and everything. I love the cast in this so much. Like, Adam Sandler is always going to be one of my favorite comedians, and I love his crew and everything. And all of these guys being together in this movie and stuff was so much fun and everything. And I love how they all team up on Rob Schneider's character and are making fun of him throughout the whole movie. The, the way they team up on him reminds me of the way me and my, my friend like to team up on my brother sometimes. Rob Schneider reminds me so much of my brother in this movie and everything. He cracks me up and everything, but he, he reminds me of my brother, the way he acts, and the way they make fun of him is the way me and my friend make fun of my brother, so I have a lot of fun with that, too, um, and everything, and I, I will say that even though the movie is cheesy as heck at times, it, it is just one of those movies you can't help but love. If, if you're a fan of these people and stuff, I, I guarantee you're going to enjoy this movie. It, it's a fun time. It's not anything super special, like, like it's not like a a masterpiece or anything like that, but this is just such a fun movie and everything. And the ending is really pretty good too. I, I like that uh, he let the other team win and everything instead of doing the typical Adam Sandler thing where he wins whether he deserves it or not or whether uh, you, it's believable or not. Uh, it it kind of took away the predictability a little bit, which is something that you usually can expect from Adam Sandler. Um, I will say that the way that they kind of have pro all the characters have problems and they have to come to this part where they all confess stuff to each other and everything, I felt like some of that was a little bit forced and everything with some of the characters, mainly uh, mainly Kevin James' character lying about being financially off and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's realistic that people would do stuff like that, but it just kind of felt like it, it wasn't the, it was just kind of made there to to have some kind of conflict that didn't really need to be there and stuff, and the, her confronting him about Adam Sandler's character getting confronted by his wife about canceling their plans and stuff, that, that was not terribly written or anything, but it just like I said, the conflict in that scene just did not really feel like there was much conflict and everything. But there was some really funny moments in that scene too. Uh, Rob Schneider uh, kicking uh, David Spade in the bulls a couple times. And both times when he does it, he hurts his foot because he had already had an arrow in his foot. Which is also one of the funniest scenes in the movie. When the arrow goes in his foot and everything. Although I think it, 
the last scene of the movie when Steve Buscemi gets it is even funnier and everything. It's like that poor guy just could not catch a break and everything. But I love Steve Buscemi in this too and everything. Like this just has such a good cast and everybody does their roles really well and they all work so good together. Like everybody, you can believe this cast is a group of friends and everything and and you can believe them as families and stuff. It, it just do such a great job and it works really really good um, but as far as negatives go it's pretty much the the only negative that I really have with most Adam Sandler movies is there is a little bit too much potty humor some of the, the juvenile humor just isn't really funny and everything there's a few parts that are amusing and stuff but nothing that's like laugh out loud funny when it comes to some of the potty humor and everything and some of the jokes get played out a little bit too much but aside from that I don't really have any complaints with this movie and I, I enjoy it it's a, just a really really fun movie it's one I love to watch during the summertime I usually don't watch it this time of year but it was just my next Adam Sandler movie to review and everything but I, I love this movie and everything so I'm gonna say I'd give Grown Ups an 8 out of 10 it, it's a really really fun time and everything and it's just a really really enjoyable movie for me as, as a big fan of Sandler and all of his friends and stuff and everything this was just like a really awesome movie for me like this was like a comedy version of the Avengers with Adam Sandler's crew for me not exactly like the Avengers I know that's kind of a weird comparison but you know what I mean you see all these people team up with Adam Sandler at different times and then you see them all come together it's just it's a lot of fun there's something really fun about that and everything. The only thing that could have made it better is if they would have been able to throw in Drew Barrymore as one of the wives or something. I think that would have been even better, but I, I'm glad they went with Sama Hayek and the ones that they went with, because they all had great comedic timing and worked really great with the cast and everything. So, uh, I think that the cast was fine as it is and everything. So, and everything. But this is a really fun time, and it, I don't know if I'd say it's one of my most favorite Adam Sandler movies, but it is one that I do really like quite a bit and everything. I always get enjoyment out of it when I watch it. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of Grown Ups and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good time. Have a good night everybody.